So even you are a family or even you are a sector or a group of people, you need to practice your your decision making based on your individual thinking, di ba? Hindi mo yung pwedeng ibase because of peer pressure, family pressure, or whatsoever pressure you are feeling. Ang importante, ang iboboto mo is yung nilalaman ng isip at puso mo, okay? This is your Papa Jobs and welcome to Papa Jobs TV. So if this is your first time in my channel, so please don't forget to click the subscribe button below this video and the notification bell for you to be notified of all my YouTube happenings. So yun na nga guys, I really miss everyone no. Ang tagal bago ako nakapag-vlog ulit, parang mga 1 month or 2 months. So for tonight guys, I'll be doing a totropahin o jojoa in na vlog na ibang style. So nakikita nyo naman yung mga post ko, medyo in line sa politics. So yung vlog natin, nalagyan natin ng konting touch of politics, pero for entertainment purposes pa rin. I'll be using a spin the wheel app, tapos nakalagay doon yung mga name ng top 6 presidential balls natin for 2022. So guys, sorry ha, if medyo magibigay ako ng konting comments about every candidate, no? Huwag kayong mag-alala, um, this is just for fun. So we respect everyone's opinion kung sino ang inyong susuportahan at ibobotong presidente sa susunod na takon. So let's do this! So ayun na nga guys, so ito na ang ating mahiwagang spin the wheel. Ayan, nakikita nyo. I-screen record ko to and then ilalagay ko dito sa part na to para mas makita nyo po. Okay? So, let's start. Iboboto o ibibigin. Okay. Sa kagatayita ko tako. Guys, so yung iba siya. Iba-iba na yung opinion natin about politics, no? So, respeto lang sa bawat isa. So, let's start spinning the wheel. Okay, so <laughs> ang una po natin napili ay walang iba kundi si Senator Bongo. Ano ang masasabi ko kay Senator Bongo? Iboboto ko ba siya or ibibitin? Siguro, o oh, walang magagalit ah. For me, sa ngayon ha, tingin ko is not yet ready. Kaya baka ibibitin ko muna siya. Okay, Aww. hindi ko muna siya iboboto. Kasi kita nyo rin naman ba guys na parang he's not really... He's not really into that position. Parang napilitan lang siya. Kasi diba, he filed for vice presidency. And then eventually, nung nag-vice president si Sarah, nag-president siya. Kasi hindi nga naman sila pwedeng maglaban. Kasi syempre super close ni PDD kay Bongo. So parang he's not yet prepared. Inilagay lang siya doon. So mahirap naman na iasa yung kinabukasan ng ating bansa if yung taong uupo doon Eh, sa sarili niya, alam niyang hindi rin siya ready for that position, no? So, for me now, Senator Bongo ay aking ibibitin. So, sorry po, guys. Love ko naman po si Senator Bongo dahil sa kanyang mga project malasakit. Tama ba yung mga malasakit center niya? Um, marami naman siyang natulungan doon sa kanyang mga malasakit center. So, as of now, hindi pa lang siya ready for that big shoe to fill talaga. Medyo malaki yung pupunuin niyang ang position eh, hindi yun easy. So, he better um, need to improve himself. Maybe after 6 years, pwede na siya ulit. Okay, so, that's all. Next, let's spin the wheel! <laughs> Naku, very controversial. So, ang next pong napili ng ating spin the wheel ay si Bongbong Marcos. So, ano ba si Bongbong Marcos? Ibibitin ko ba siya or iboboto? For me, sabi nga nila, di ba? I believe din naman na ang kasalanan ng ama ay hindi kasalanan ng anak. But still, di ba? They are family o Philippines a lot. So, marami silang kailangang explain. Marami silang kailangang ibalik na yaman sa Pilipinas. Alam naman ng lahat yon. But for me, I think Bongbong Marcos is already ready for that position kasi he's actually aiming it for quite some times na, di ba? 
ang gusto ko kasi sa tao, pag disidido silang kunin yung position, why not give them a chance, di ba? Um, they will not commit the same mistake they father did naman. So for me, si Bongbong Marcos, if he, if he will keep on running, if hindi siya madidisqualified dahil sa mga cocaine-cocaine issue na yun. So I will vote for BBM. So iboboto ko yan. Okay? Aww. So next. Yan na, spin the wheel! Senator Lacson. So for me, si Senator Lacson, no, he's ready, no, kasi ilang best na rin naman siyang tumakbo. For me, he's also ready. Um, for me, the readiness is really important. For me, boboto ko si Senator Lacson. Um, it's just that I think the momentum was gone already. Yun lang yung oh. problema. So, hindi lang natin alam ngayon kung paano niya i-regain yung sarili niya kasi nga nawala na yung momentum. So, that's it for Senator Ping Lacson. So, let's now spin the wheel again. Si Isko Moreno. Nako. Ito, for me, he's actually one of my best bet for the president. Huwag niyo ako i-bash, no? For some, they say na hindi pa siya ready kasi mayor pa lang yung tinatakbo niya. Yes, you have a point. Hindi pa siya ganun ka-ready. So, when it comes to readiness, medyo kulang. Pero for me, the will, di ba, to run and to fight, um, and to fight for that biggest, um, position, national position ever, yung guts pa lang niya, parang for me, plus factor na. And aside sa looks, <laughs> so, so, hindi tayo nagbibase sa looks, no? For me, kasi, he chooses, um, a good set of people around him. So, Aww. yun pa lang, di ba? Magandang factor kasi when you are a president, uh, magandang factor na masurround ka ng mga taong magagaling. So, choosing Willie Ong as his vice president, for me, parang maganda yun. Kasi he knows na kailangan ng Pilipinas ng doktor for this time of pandemic. And another one is that he also chooses Samira Guto as one of He's senatorable. So for me, kasi I really love, I really love Ati Sam. So that's factor yun for me. So for me, si Isko Moreno ay iboboto. Okay? Spin the wheel! Okay! So ang next natin is si Manny Pacquiao. When it comes to readiness, Um, tingin ko kulang din si Manny Pacquiao pero yung, yung intention kasi ang maganda kay Manny yung intention niya sa pagtakbo very clean so it, when it compared to all the candidates sa presidency siya yung pinaka lesser evil so sabi nga nila di ba pag nasa politics ka hindi mo maiiwasan talagang may mga hindi magandang ginagawa sa loob ng politika but I think Manny is one of the cleanest cleanest candidate we ever had for the president position. So, for me, no, if, if, pwede lang talagang bumoto ng marami, <laughs> si Manny is also one of my best bet. So, for me, iboboto ko si Manny Pacquiao. So, hindi ko na-spin yung last. Last but not the least is, of course, the only female candidate we have for the 2022 election and other than ang um, VP Lenny Robredo. So, para sa akin, no, si VP Lenny, She's ready. Why? Because sino ba naman talaga ang susunod sa presidente? The usual team. Even sa classroom ng bata tayo. After the president, di ba? It's the vice president. So she is really ready. She is really capable. She has a good heart as well. Um, she already proved a lot when it comes to politics and other um, and other aspects of life. No, Marami siya napatunayan na. So for me, Madali lang ang sagot when it comes to Lenny, no? Iboboto at iboboto ko yan. If oh. pwedeng bumoto ng marami, I chose um, five candidates na iboboto ko. Isa lang yung ibibitin ko. Guys, make sure na this coming 2022 elections, your decision should be based on what you have, you have studied or evaluated. Don't base your decision to the decision of some people around you. Kasi hindi hindi yan mag, hindi magandang practice no. So for example, mi sa bahay namin. Minsan iba iba naman kami nang binoboto no. So maganda example 'yun kasi we should all consider everyone's opinion. So sa bahay namin, yung father ko iba yung boboto, yung mama ko iba yung boboto. 
it's not actually pag sinabi nilang iba-iba yung boboto nyo, hindi kayo united. No. It's just that you are practicing your your rights as an individual. So, even you are a family or even you are a sector or a group of people, you need to practice your your decision making based on your individual thinking, di ba? Hindi mo yung pwedeng ibase because of peer pressure, family pressure, or whatsoever pressure you are feeling. Ang importante, ang iboboto mo is yung nilalaman ng isip at puso mo, okay? Aww. So, kung sino man yon, whatever you think is um, the right person for the position you are um, voting for, tama yon. Huwag niyong isipin na pag sinabi nilang hindi tama yung boto niyo, mali na kayo, no. Lahat tayo may point kung bakit yun yung mga taong iboboto natin. Just make sure you vote wisely on the upcoming 2022 election. So that's all for tonight, guys. Medyo political yung ating vlog for tonight, pero matagal ko na itong gustong gawin. So for all of you out there na nagustuhan yung aking content, you can do your own um, iboboto or ibibitin na video. Malaking tulong din yung mga ganitong vlog sa ibang tao, di ba? Baka maka-influence tayo or somehow mas makaliwanag tayo dun sa decision making ng ibang tao. So might as well do this. So that's all for tonight guys. Um, hindi ko napapahabain. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, just click the like button below this video. And of course, if you have something to tell me, you can comment down below. Or you can message me on my Facebook. Twitter and Instagram, ito siya. Ayan yung aking mga social media account. So, that's all for tonight. Again, thank you for watching. Please, please do share this video to the world para malaman nila na meron tayong Papa Jobs TV. Again, thank you very much for watching guys and goodbye.